Tom and I have have four children. We have Anne. One word to describe my dad is awesome. Jill. Talented. David. Teacher. And then Ben. Caring. My life has gone by so fast it would be a brief summary. I grew up right after the war, World War II, with my brothers and my cousins. When we were kids, that's who I played with all my life. I always wanted to be the guy that was driving the trucks or working the big equipment or flying the airplanes. And I always admired those people that, and that's where I wanted to go. My father was probably the greatest teacher I ever had. He was the best pilot I'd ever been flying with. I mean, he, he, he could do anything with an airplane. My dad was picked out during the war, and they found out he could fly. They took him out and told him they were going to use him as an instructor because they needed flight instructors to teach pilots. They didn't have any. And him and his friend became instructors. A brief history of our airport it was really interesting. Johnny Booth was the mayor of Spanish Fork and he went to my dad and he says, Ralph, you're a pilot and you know how to fly. And There weren't very many people who knew how to fly back then. Johnny Booth said, we can get an airport from the federal government. They got a program where they'll come in and help you build an airport if we provide them the land. The government had a, a work project back then to get some of the people from the war working. So they came in and built a dirt strip. They put up a little wooden hangar down there and Dad had an airplane and that started our airport. I was, had just started flying. It was my first year flying ag work and we had a guy from Arizona helping us. His name was Jim. I just got over there just as he left the field and I went into the field and at the other end there was a bunch of trees. It was a big long field. It was a half mile long. At the other end there was some trees and when I pulled up to go through the trees, there was a big power line that went through the trees, and I didn't know that. And I picked up that power line with the wing, and it was a 7,200 volt power line. And the minute I touched the ground with the airplane, it just burst into flames. Days, I kind of gathered everything, and I knew I was on fire, so I hurried up and got out of the airplane. Years ago, he told me that when he was on fire, it would have been so much easier to close my eyes and just go because the pain was so intense. But he said when he closed his eyes that he saw me and the kids and he knew he had to get out of there. And he rolled out of that plane and how he got out, I will never know because it was just burnt to a crisp. I think I was all one big scab over my whole face and my hair was burned off. And but I was real lucky. It was really hard on the kids. It was hard on Tom. It was hard on all of us. But we're so grateful that uh, had the will to live. And he's a survivor.